Harold Godwinson was born in the early 1020s to Godwin, Earl of Wessex, and Gaitha, the sister of Earl Yulf, Canute the Great's brother-in-law. He had five brothers, Swain, Tostig, Gerth, Leofwine, and Wolfnoth, and three sisters, Edith, Gunhilda, and Elfgifu. Harold's sister, Edith, married King Edward the Confessor. In 1051, Harold, his father, and siblings fell out of favour with the king and fled the country. His brother Wolfnoth was arrested and imprisoned for the rest of his life. Edith was sent to a nunnery. In 1052, the family returned and fell back into favour with the king, who allowed Edith to return as well. Godwin passed away in 1053, and Harold inherited the earldom of Wessex, making him one of the most powerful men in England. He served as the king's lieutenant fighting rebellion in Wales and dealing with a revolt against his brother Tostig in Northumbria. He exiled Tostig, which led to Tostig developing a deep hatred for Harold. Harold married twice. His first marriage was to Edith the Fair, or Edith Swanneck, a granddaughter of Ethelred the Unready through one of his daughters. Together they had six children, Godwin, Edmund, Magnus, Gunhilda, Gaitha and Ulf. Their marriage ended when Harold set her aside. Harold then married Edith of Mercia sometime around 1066 and they had one son together named Harold. In 1064 Harold apparently met William Duke of Normandy and swore an oath to support the Duke's claim to the English throne. On the 5th of January 1066 King Edward the Confessor died. He had named Harold Godwinson his heir, going back on his word to William, the Duke of Normandy. This led to a succession crisis. Harold was elected by the Witten of England as the new monarch the next day and had his coronation that very same day. However, his position was far from secure. Several people came forward with claims to the English throne. Harold Hardrada was King of Norway and claimed that an agreement made by the previous King of Norway, Magnus I and Hartha Canute, Edward the Confessor's half-brother, stated that if either of them died without an heir, the surviving king would become ruler of both kingdoms. Tostig, Harold's brother, also claimed the throne for himself and raised a fleet in Flanders to launch raids against England. Harold raised an army and navy himself and forced Tostig to retreat. Tostig went to Scotland and then Norway to garner support for his cause. In spring 1066, King Harold of Norway assembled his fleet to join forces with Tostig in Scotland. Their invasion plan was to start in September 1066. Around the same time, William of Normandy was planning his own invasion. He claimed Edward the Confessor had promised him the throne. He quickly assembled his fleet. Supposedly, he received support from the Pope, who provided him with the papal banner as a sign of approval. He planned to invade in September 1066 also. King Harald of Norway and Tostig launched their invasion. On the 20th of September 1066, they fought a battle of Fulford, winning the battle. Harold soon learned of the news of the battle and raced to assemble his forces. On the 25th of September 1066, the Battle of Stamford Bridge took place, with Harold succeeding. The Norwegian king and Tostig were among the casualties that day. The Vikings retreated and, ex and accepted the terms of a truce with King Harold, promising never to invade England again. Only three days later, William of Normandy arrived on the English shores, setting up base and fortifications at Hastings. On the 1st of October, Harald learnt of their arrival and, and assembled his troops. Harald was determined to end the threats to his reign. The Battle of Hastings, one of the most famous English battles, occurred on the 14th of October 1066. Harald took up a defensive position on a ridge, whilst William gave his orders to his archers to fire uphill. At first, the Normans found it difficult to break the English line of defence. The tide turned in the favour of the Normans when some Bretons broke away and several of Harold's men broke off in pursuit. 
This led to the English forces being cut off and isolated. William feigned retreat in order to split apart the English troops further and they fell into the trap. The English were then struck down by arrows, one of which struck Harold in the eye, killing him. After his death, the English continued fighting but crumbled under the Norman pressure. Despite King Harold II's efforts, he was no match for the Normans. He was the last Anglo-Saxon king of England.